everybody, Brittany Haas here, Chief Adventure Officer for Alpen Ventures Unguided, and welcome to another session of A Taste of the Alps. Today we're going to cook something called Grusti, which you often find in Switzerland. This recipe didn't actually come directly from a hut, but it's a very common hut dish, both for lunch and also for a vegetarian dinner. So we're going to go ahead and play with it today. The so Rusti is made out of um, potatoes and onions, basically a potato dish. Might resemble something very close to hash browns, but it's served not for breakfast, it's served for lunch and dinner, and it's just more fun to cook it the Swiss way and call it rusty instead of hash browns. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, the potato dish is served with a fried egg usually, so we'll have that going as well. I'm going to go ahead and melt two tablespoons of fat in the pan. I'm using butter today, and um, I don't usually measure butter in a pan, so we're just going to call that good. Okay, so the ingredients that we need for this are 500 grams of potatoes, grated which is about a pound or two ounces. We need an onion, diced, I have just half an onion here, uh, a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of pepper, and the egg and the fat for putting everything in the pan. So let's go ahead and get started. So first we're just gonna mix together the potatoes, the onions, and the salt and pepper. I'm just going to estimate a tablespoon, or a teaspoon, sorry, one teaspoon of salt, okay, and then just a little bit of pepper, just a pinch of this. Okay, that should be a pinch. Okay, so now we're just going to mix this all together. The egg we leave out, the egg is for later. We're going to fry that separately. Okay, so you can definitely see that our butter is melted and it's ready, so we're just going to put the potatoes in. So you want to make them flat. So at hash brown we would stir, but the roosty we just let it cook as it is. So you want to put it in there flat, like this. Good. And then we're going to just let that fry on low for five to six minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and start our egg. So while all of this is cooking, let me just tell you a little bit about where you would find the rusty at. So rusty is a very common dish to find in Switzerland, not only at the huts, but also in the city in a restaurant. It's a very common vegetarian dinner that you would eat. Um, it's basically potatoes often served with an egg on top, not served with ketchup like it would be in the US. And so we're gonna get this till it's golden brown on the other side. And then the tricky part is flipping it with a plate, so we'll see how that goes. And then we'll get the other side golden brown. We have several hut tours where you would find a rusty. One of those tours is the Bernice Overland tour that's in the Interlaken region, Werner Overland region of Switzerland. This tour is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful tours that one of the most beautiful heights in all of Switzerland. It's amazing. So we'll put the link to that in the description below. Also, another one where this would be very common to find is on the Oat Route, which is the route that connects Chamonix to Zermatt. It's absolutely stunning, but it's also very challenging. It's really only for fit and very experienced hikers. But really, anywhere in Switzerland, also on the Tour de Mont Blanc, you'd also probably have a very good likelihood of encountering this dish at one of the Swiss huts. So we'll put links to both the Obrat and the Bernice Overland tour in the description below. There's also going to be the recipe for this will be included there, as well as a link to the blog post where we'll also put the recipe in. Okay, so I can see underneath that we're a little bit brown now, so it looks like it's time to flip. Um, it took a lot longer than the recipe said it would take. It took almost 15 minutes instead of the five minutes the recipe said. I forgot to say this at the beginning. I just want to remind everybody that I am an adventure planner for Alpha Ventures Unguided, an adventure travel company. 
And I'm not a good cook and I've never made this recipe before. So we're all in this adventure together. So what we need to do is we need to actually flip this out onto this plate and then slide it back into the pan. side and it's finally cooked through a little bit brown on the bottom there so we're going to call this done um, so you just go ahead and put it on the plate and it's often topped with an egg usually with a runny yolk I'm not a runny yolk person so my yolk's not runny and here we have our rusty now the picture you see is from the Karshina hut um, and their roast roasty obviously looked a lot better than mine. Probably tastes a little bit better than mine, but I think this will be okay. So make sure to check out our YouTube channel for other videos in the A Taste of the Alps series. We've already done Kesa Schnitta, which is a really delicious, super easy dinner that you can make with basically like a baked grilled cheese sandwich. And then we also did Kaiserschmarrn, which is my very favorite hot treat. Absolutely delicious, this fluffy, sweet pancake broken up into little pieces that they serve in Austria. And there will be more to come. So make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Good, thanks for watching. This dish, unlike many of the other dishes we're doing, can be done very easily, dairy-free, gluten-free. So it's a very friendly dish.